Hi, this is Jeff with Indoor Doctor. Today we're going to be talking about crawl space management with two important factors. One is humidity and the second is radon. So pretty muggy day today, about 86% humidity. And behind me is a crawl space where we have a master bedroom uh, right above the crawl space. We want to make sure that none of the toxins are entering the airspace in the living areas above. We have a radon mitigation system and the uh, exterior drainage hose from the dehumidifier. So let's go take a look into the crawl space. All right, welcome to the crawl space. So here we have obviously fiberglass bat insulation. And one of the things that we're gonna run is a uh, simple to use General Electric 70 pint dehumidifier. We have a digital display. We're actually cross-referencing with our IAQ meter, 49% humidity. Pretty good job. We have it on an auto pump and what happens is that it's drained directly before me outside so you don't have to empty out the bucket. Another thing with the radon mitigation system that we see, a lot of people think that the blue gauge here measures radon, it measures pressurization. So what you want to make sure of is that the pressurization liquid is not even. That would mean that the radon fan is not working. So while we're in the crawl space, we wanna take a look around. Plastic bins are ideal. Um, we wanna avoid any sort of porous material that can grow mold, checking for rodent infestation. Got a moisture meter here that I like to check with the insulation. Because we have a dehumidifier, uh, the insulation is not gonna soak up moisture and cause other mold issues. A lot of times we'll get there and it's drippy and it's wet and that's gonna cause odors and mold. So be sure that you get a good dehumidifier. We like the General Electric 70 pint dehumidifier, Santa Fe Compact 70 is the gold standard. Uh, shoot me a line, Jeff at Indoor Doctor, indoordoctor.com. We want to make sure that your home is as healthy as possible. Take care.